A lot of people have been thinking about something that has been on their minds. If you've ever tried creating designs, whether for social media, business, or just for fun, you've probably come across both Photoshop and Canva. They're two of the biggest names in the design world, but they serve different kinds of users. Photoshop is known as the industry standard for professional editing, while Canva is the go-to for quick, easy designs. But is it the right time to switch from Photoshop to Canva? Let's break it down. First off, let's talk about what it's like to actually use these tools. Photoshop is an advanced tool, but it comes with a complex interface that can be overwhelming, especially if you're just starting out. You open it up, and there are tools everywhere. Layers, brushes, masks, and an array of settings that can take months, even years, to master. It's great for professionals who need detailed control over their work, but if all you need is a quick social media post or a business flyer, Photoshop might feel like overkill. Now, Canva is a completely different experience. It's designed to be user-friendly, which means you don't need to be a graphic designer to make something great. You log in, pick a template, drag and drop some elements, and boom, you're done. Everything is laid out in a simple, visual way, making it perfect for beginners, marketers, or small business owners who need to get things done fast. So if you've ever felt lost in Photoshop's complicated interface, Canva might be the answer. It's built for speed and ease of use, while Photoshop is built for depth and precision. Let's break down what makes each of these tools special and who they're really made for. When it comes to Photoshop, we're talking about the all-rounder of image editing. You're getting the best benefits and precision with those healing brushes that can remove blemishes so perfectly no one would ever know they existed. The layering system lets you build complex compositions like you're constructing a gourmet sandwich, layer by delicious layer with complete control over each ingredient. Flip over to Canva, and you're getting more of a point-and-shoot camera experience. Sure, you can brighten photos, crop them, and apply some filters. Canva's one-click background remover is pretty magical, though. Something that would take several steps in Photoshop happens instantly here. It's not about power, it's about speed and simplicity. Opening Photoshop is like walking into an empty workshop. You've got all the tools hanging on the wall, but you're staring at a blank canvas thinking, now what? It's intimidating, but that emptiness is also your freedom. Anything you can imagine you can create, if you know how to use those tools. Canva, on the other hand, is like walking into a furniture store where everything's already designed for you. Need an Instagram post? Here are 500 templates. Planning a wedding? Invitation designs ready to go. The templates are professionally designed and ready for you to just swap in your content. You're trading some creative freedom for massive time savings and foolproof designs. This is where Canva really shines. Imagine this. Your marketing team is working on a campaign. The copywriter is adding text. The brand manager is dropping in logos. And you're arranging images all at the same time in the same design. Comments pop up in real time and changes sync instantly. It's like Google Docs for design. Photoshop wasn't built with this kind of collaboration in mind. Adobe has tried to catch up with creative cloud sharing features, but it still feels bolted on rather than baked in. If teamwork is central to your workflow, Canva has a serious edge here. For professional photographers, print designers, and digital artists, Photoshop's output quality is really great. The fine control over color profiles means your work looks perfect, whether it's on a billboard, a glossy magazine, or a website. If you're doing detailed retouching or composite work, there's simply no substitute. Canva is optimized for digital content that looks great on screens. Your social media posts, digital presentations, and email graphics will look polished and professional. It can handle simple print projects too. But for high-end print work with precise color requirements, professional designers still reach for Photoshop. Both platforms are racing to add AI capabilities, but they're taking different approaches. Photoshop's generative fill and neural filters are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in professional editing, removing objects, changing expressions, and generating new content based on your prompts. Canva's AI is focused on making design easier for non-designers. Their magic write helps you generate text content, 
while design suggestions automatically lay out your elements in aesthetically pleasing ways. It's like having a design assistant who knows exactly what looks good. Now let's talk about something that can really speed up your workflow, asset management. In Photoshop, you're essentially starting from scratch every time. Want stock photos? You'll need to purchase them separately or subscribe to Adobe Stock for an additional fee. Need icons or illustrations? You're either creating them yourself or importing them from elsewhere. It's like cooking in a kitchen where you have to bring all your own ingredients. You have complete control over quality, but it takes extra time and effort to gather everything you need. Canva, meanwhile, comes with a fully stocked pantry. Their built-in library gives you instant access to over 100 million stock photos, videos, audio tracks, and graphic elements. Many of them free, with even more in the pro version. Need a picture of a mountain for your travel blog? Just search and drag it in. Want animated social media stickers? They're right there waiting for you. This massive content library is like having a design assistant who's already gathered everything you might possibly need. Let's be real about the Photoshop learning curve. It's really tough. You'll be watching tutorials for weeks, maybe months, before you feel comfortable. But that investment pays off with skills that can lead to professional design careers. Every hour spent learning unlocks new creative possibilities. With Canva, it's easier than ever. Most people figure out the basics in about 15 minutes. And within an hour, they're creating designs that look legitimately professional. You won't develop the deep design skills that Photoshop teaches you. But if you just need great-looking content fast, does that really matter? Now, let's talk about money. Photoshop is part of Adobe's Creative Cloud, which means you have to pay a monthly subscription. The base plan for Photoshop starts at around $22.99 per month. And if you want access to other Adobe apps, that price goes up. It's an investment, especially if you're not using it every day. Canva, on the other hand, offers a free version, which is great for casual users. But if you want access to premium templates, stock images, and advanced tools, you'll need to pay for Canva Pro, which starts at $55 per month. It's significantly costlier than Photoshop, but gives you access to most of the features you'd need for everyday design tasks. If you're a professional designer, Photoshop's price might be justified because of the advanced features. But if you're just looking for an easier way to create marketing materials or social media graphics, Canva is a better deal. So, should you switch from Photoshop to Canva? Well, it depends on what you need. If you're a professional designer who works with detailed image editing, Photoshop is still the king. But if you're looking for an easy, affordable way to create stunning visuals quickly, Canva might be the way to go. What do you think? Are you sticking with Photoshop? Or is Canva the better fit for you? Let us know.